One of the most common genres in all of video gaming is that of the alien invasion. Because video game hardware was so limited back in the day, it was very effective to make games like Space Invaders, Galaxian, and Phoenix. Because of the huge popularity of those early games, the alien invasion genre stuck around and new games kept being made long after the limitations of gaming hardware were overcome. So in today's video, let's discuss some fascinating alien invasion games. Our first game is the one that started it all, Space Invaders. Originally an arcade game by Taito from 1978, you play as a lone defender of the moon, shooting waves of aliens who march back and forth in an attempt to reach the surface. You have four bases you can hide behind, but they usually just get in the way. Sometimes an alien spacecraft will zoom past overhead and you'll get extra points if you shoot it. If you destroy all the aliens, a new batch will appear and try and get their revenge. It cannot be overstated how huge this game was at the time, and kids in Japan and America went wild for it. The Atari 2600 port is often credited as the original killer app for that system, and propelled it to popularity. Since then, there have been many home ports and updates, some you might even find in arcades today. Next is a light gun game for the Atari 7800 called Alien Brigade from 1990. Similar to games like Operation Wolf and Terminator 2, your goal is to rid the world of alien scum in... the jungle? Well, I guess that's not unheard of. Anyway, you blast a variety of aliens, including ones that have taken over the bodies of your fellow soldiers. Helicopters, tanks, and boats will join in to stop you. Once you reach the end and defeat the mother alien, you get a wonderful ending to the story which says you can defeat the aliens in the next game called Planet Smashers. This is one of the more interesting and graphically beautiful games for the Atari 7800. Our next game is Contra, which started out as an arcade game by Konami in 1987, but it wasn't until the NES version did it truly become a beloved classic. In it, you play as the Beefcakes, Bill or Lance, on a jungle quest to defeat the alien menace, Red Falcon. Okay, so that's two games in a row with the same setting. I guess that means aliens like jungles. In between the action platforming, you also infiltrate the alien bases in a 3D style where you shoot into the screen. This is a nice way to break up the action. After the jungle, waterfall, and mechanized base stages, you'll reach the alien hive and destroy the actual beating heart of Red Falcon. Contra is one of the all-time greatest games for the NES, and I absolutely love it. Next, let's talk about the very first Simpsons game ever, Bart vs. the Space Mutants for the NES. In this extremely hard game by Acclaim from 1991, you play as Bart, who learns about aliens from space, trying to take over the town of Springfield. All they need to do is acquire different objects, starting with things of the color purple. Not sure why that was chosen, but whatever. So you have to change all the purple items by spray painting them red. Later stages involve you collecting hats or exit signs and popping balloons. Bart can see the aliens if he wears his x-ray glasses, which seems oddly similar to the John Carpenter movie They Live. A strange choice for a first Simpsons game, and one that I find incredibly hard. last game is Alien Storm for the Sega Genesis. It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up game where you play as a team of alien busters that includes Garth the Battle-Hardened Veteran, Scooter the Robot, and Karen the Lady in the Yellow Jumpsuit. It's not your typical beat-em-up though, because you're using weapons such as laser guns, plasma whips, and flamethrowers instead of punches and kicks. There's a variety of alien creatures and they can get pretty sneaky sometimes. You'll never look at trash cans the same way again. Breaking up the action are the first person perspective bonus stages where you get to trash pretty much everything. It's amazing. Send those aliens packing in this fun and often overlooked game.
So there you have it. If you've ever had the urge to travel to Area 51 to find some aliens, think twice before going. It's much safer to battle them on your TV screen than it is to meet one in person. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like, share, and subscribe buttons down below so that you will be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and remember to keep classic gaming alive.